Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are jumping back into Kinseed. This has got to be hands down one of the best pixel farm RPGs or life sims out there. I truly love this game and I hope you guys love this just as much as me. But we're going to get straight into this. Obviously this game is now fully released. It is no longer in early access. So I want to explore everything, dive into all of the new stuff and see how great this game truly is. Kind of like a series that I've started here as well. So this is just another episode of that. Now this is super cozy because outside right now it is raining so heavy. It's really relaxing. I can hear it on the window. And it's raining in Kinseed as well. So this is perfect. Uh, you need a sickle to harvest wheat and cut through long grass. Our old sickle rusted so we need a new one. Yeah, we've got to go and visit um, the blacksmith. This is today's quest that we are going to look into. So we're going to get the sickle from the blacksmith, that is our main story task, but then we have some other ones as well. We need to water a growing crop, but it's raining so we don't need to do that right now. We've got to feed the pig for our daily uh, reward, we get pocket money for doing our chores. We need to go and grab our fishing rod as well. No, we've already done that, sorry, but we need to go and speak to Azel Nut, who wants a weed skimmer, which is a fish. Rescue the cat, and of course we've accepted one of these on the like help request board. Where Teresa Green wants 27 pears and 11 blueberries. So we've got a few quests that we need to do. So let's start out by feeding the pig, of course. We'll also make an offering so we don't get any curses on the farm. We don't want any rotten apples or stuff like that. So let's just chuck a normal apple in there. In fact, we can save those. Let's put a strawberry in there. Right, we can talk to our twin sister as well, our sibling. Uncle Bill seems very kind to you. I often think about our re our real parents. I can't remember them at all. We must have been given away when we was very young. Do you think they, they were too poor to feed us? Did they die fighting monsters? Were we bad children? We will never truly know. <laughs> How are you? I wish I had more friends. Maybe I could be friendlier. What's happening? Just going to have a bite to eat. Alright. Goodbye. They've got a little heart there. Nice. We can still speak to Uncle as well. The Vale is full of decent folk, even the lady with all the cats. Yeah, we've got to do a quest with her. Though you might want to hold your nose if you pay her a visit. <laughs> whole place is a litter box. Oh, God, the smell of cats. It's not good. I can just picture that right now. Right, let's go and get this. I'm also going to feed the pig today. There it is. Feed truffles. Let's give you just a normal apple, I guess. That quest is done though. Have we got any more fruit that we can harvest? We're running low on things, to be honest. Oh, tomatoes. These might be done. Yay, tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Or is it the other way around? You say tomato, I say tomato. Same thing when written down. If you're American, you'll say tomato. Like potato. Right. Look at the swan. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I've missed this game. Every time I don't play this game, I miss it. It just... Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, Swan, don't get my line. God. We don't want to hurt you. Oh, we missed that one. Oh, there's a little duck too. The swans look amazing. So we can summon Truffles, the pig, whenever we want. Press tab. You blow the whistle. Tell him to go home or summon. And here he is, look, straight away. And then obviously we can ride him whenever we want. A little bit more speed, get around a bit better. So we're going to go into town today. Let's go and do the blacksmith quest first. Because that's the main story. Are these crops done? No. Look, there's a bug here on the... It's a snail on the garden plot. I love it. So if we press F1, we can use that away. And it'll kind of show us where we need to go for our quest. Depending on which one, obviously, we've like pinned or whatever so if we pin that and then we press f1 this is going to show us right how we get there so you can always find your way around sometimes you can get lost in the game it's quite vast it's quite a big area so it can be quite confusing so it's a good little tip to use f1 on the keyboard to know where you're going to go and look Straight away, you're in the region for this task. So it kind of tells you that you're in the right place. And I really love that. And that did not take long at all. So the blacksmith is literally right underneath us here. Oh, the chicken gave us an egg. 
Yay! Over here! <laughs> Before you used to be able to like pet them and you used to poop, chuck an egg out, but now it's kind of random, I think. Right, come on, truffles. Stay around. Right, let's go to the blacksmith then. Here we go. Let's talk to these people. Uh, Jeffrey Black, you'll have to speak to Jeremy for all of your sickle related inquiries. Okay. Here he is. Well, hello there, young'un. Hmm, all out of sickles? I'm afraid. I'm also afraid of going into the mine to dig for ore, which is why you're out of sickles. I heard some knocking, so I got straight out of there. But tell you what, here's the key to the mine. If you're brave enough to get your own ore, pop back into the smithy and I'll show you how to make your own sickle. A big guy like this lot is he's quite strong, he looks physical, and he's too scared to go into the mine. But we've now got the blue mine key, so that means we can actually go into the blue... The gate that's locking the was blocking the mine. Oh, we've also got the sickle mold there as well. Nice. So shall we go over? Oh look, they're ordering things. So cool. Right, I'm gonna go into the mines, guys. We're gonna brave, brave it up. So we just go up here, and I'm pretty sure it's like right here somewhere. Right, there's the key. Now there never used to be any monsters inside here. It was kind of just a. Uh... Well, let's put oh, truffles. <laughs> right, he's gotta go home. Go back home. Jesus Christ. I don't think he can go home inside here. <laughs> he's trapped in the mines. I think he's gone. Yeah, let's put on the, the light. There never used to be any... Like, scary things in here. So, hopefully, it's better. Also, the green bar here, I thought, was durability. Turns out it's not. It's just the level of the tool. So, some tools are better than others. So there's no durability in the game. We've got something here as well. Let's gather all this. We've actually got a proverb for the rotten apple. Put an apple in fairy rings and rot it will like darkest things. Ooh, a mushroom as well. There's one here too. Let's get all of this stuff, all the tin ore. I don't think there's nothing about. We should be okay. I've been in here before and it never used to be to be bad. But there is an actual place where you can obviously fight monsters and things like that. It can get quite spooky in certain places, but I've never actually done that in the game. So that'll be interesting to actually get to. We've come out another side here, which is not good. If we look in the map now, we're actually in burial grounds, which we've actually not yet unlocked either. So it could be worth trying to unlock the map stones whilst we're here. But I also need to finish the quest with, obviously, Jeremy. Got a proverb whilst we're here, and then I'll head back. What time are we on? I think it's 3 p.m. Tomato! Winter's bite is far too sore for tomatoes to be eaten raw. But we'll come back here another time. Right now, I need to go back through the mines to the other side and go and finish this quest. We've got the tin oil. Is that all we needed to do? But we just need to go and craft it now. So let's go back and craft our new sickle. Hopefully, we can do a good job. We've actually not got one right now. Right, let's begin your smithing apprenticeship. Start by selecting an ore and a mold that you have, tin ore and a sickle mold, but there are many more materials and molds that are uh, out there to create anything from jewelry to swords. So look, we've got the sickle mold, and we've also got tin ore, so we're gonna make a tin sickle. Uh, let's go for the two quality, because that might make it a little bit better, and then we're gonna craft. This is all new, I think it's changed, so I've gotta be a bit careful here. Melt the ore by holding and releasing uh, the mouse button to blow the bellows. Okay. Was that good or not? Right, lower the item to the forge and heat it by pressing that and then press again to remove it. Oh, okay, well that's... Uh, <laughs> harder than I thought. You have to let go a few seconds before you get to the green barn. It's not instant. Okay, this is going to be trial and error, this one. Okay, so I've done this before. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, that was not very good, that one. We've got 27 durability on that. We didn't get anything for the first one, though. That's not good. Right, the next one, we've got to cool it. So lower it into the water and press again to remove it. Aim for the green marker. So this time, it's going to be similar. So I'm going to do it just a bit before, like there. What? What even is that? Right, we only do this on the green bit. Oh, it's right mouse as well. Gotta, gotta get better at this. 88 sharpness. 
This is the first time I've done this since they've actually changed the little mini game for this. I've got an achievement for it. We made your first item. I feel that you could become really good at this in time. Maybe one day you'll own your own smithy business. Yeah, that might be quite cool. But we got a two star. We could have easily got maybe a three or four. I need to get a little bit better at that. All right, well, that was that. It wasn't that great. We'll try again. We've got someone to talk to here as well. Oh, the rain's kicking up now. Edward Teapot, uh, what's happening? Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my... Is that... What's that? Is that a chicken? What even is that? A, a Nader Effigy in Candlewick West. We get seven reward, which is down here. What time are we on right now, though? We need a dandelion because we've got no clock. It's run out, so we need to pick a dandelion. Uh, oh, someone else with a quest. What's happening is that I have an urge for some fish. Uh, sp specifically, a coin tail. We've got one of those. We do have a coin tail. Um, grab your rod. Gift. There it is, guys. There it is. Ooh, okay. Friendship points going up a little bit there. Thank you. There once lived a woman who found a baby fox tangled in an old tree root. It is said it had a tail made of flames, but they blazed cold rather than heat. It is likely that it ran from its Fiona and became lost. Is this like a little clue? One day the fox vanished, but a small bag of silver was left on her windowsill. Ooh. Right, cheers. Edna. Oh, we completed that task as well. There we go. Oh. I think I gave her a coin tail as a gift, and then we gave her one for the quest. There was two different options there, I think. So we now done the quest, but we also gave one as a gift, which I actually think she didn't mind. But we've got ten. Oh, we've got ten in total now. So yeah, we actually gave her a gift here, a friendly gift, and we gave her a coin tail. So we've not found anything that she likes or dislikes. So she wasn't a massive fan of the, <laughs> the coin, the fish, the coin tail, even though she asked for one. Right, guys, we need there. There's, there we go. We've got a dandelion. So what time are we on right now? Ooh. 7 p.m. We do pass out at 8. And look at the wind coming in. The weather effects in this game is truly breathtaking. It's literally matching the weather outside right now. Outside my window. Right, we're in Candlewick West. We need to find this item. And I feel like this might be it. Nope, it's a proverb for a pair. I will use that teleport to get back home. I'll quickly spend a little bit of time to try and find this item. This effigy. In this village, the chest there. Everyone's going to sleep. Hedgehog. Find shelter, you crazy thing. Where is this thing we're going to pass out? But luckily for us... Oh, there's a map stone. Nice. We've actually unlocked the map region now. That's good. That's good. But like I said, it doesn't matter if we pass out. I think it's 11 p.m. Oh, there it is. Quickly. Oh, we found it. Woohoo! Okay, vines grasp and drain your opponent's stats. So we need to give that back now. As part of the quest, we get quite a bit of stuff for that. Let's quickly get this proverb. Can we make it? Carrot, okay. I want to use the teleport stone, but I think it's too late. We're definitely going to pass out. It is what it is. There we go. But yeah, there's no negative impact that happens for doing that. It's actually pretty okay. We've got six brass this day. We did quite a lot of tasks there. And we're currently on 16 right now. So feed the pick game for the daily. We need to go and give this to Edward Teapot now. We need to return it to him. We need to water a crop. It's not raining. We can do that. And go and find Azel as well. I'm going to go and give her the weed skimmer because we do have it. Today's Uncle Bill's birthday. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's a snail. Look at the snails in the garden. That's <laughs> that's actually quite realistic because they do actually come out in the morning time. Today is just an ordinary day, really. Just like any other. Have you been to the notice board in the village? It's just the opposite, opposite of the good store. It's worth checking there to see if there are any villagers that need some help. While you're down there, it is pig auction day. We can't afford a new pig. Why don't you knit down to the auction stall in Festival Green and get some experience of them? So we've got to go and do that today. Pig auction. So you can actually buy pigs. We've still got truffles, which we're going to go and feed. There we go. There we go. We've got the quest done for that, guys. Look how easy watering is in the game. Might be nice to find some more seeds. We'll buy some. So which quest shall we focus on today first? The main one. We'll go and do this one. We'll read the notice board. And whilst we're down there, we'll try and find some of these people. 
Shall we give Uncle Bill something as a, like a gift? It is his birthday, of course. We've got to do something like that for him. And we can use this bucket and get some milk. Because we may need this. Our siblings here. Do you ever miss the shoe? Yeah, because we used to live in the shoe. Already feels like another life. But sometimes I wake up thinking we're still there. And then I realise I don't have someone's foot sticking uh, sticking in my eye. I remember, And then I remember why we left. I've got some blueberries and strawberries here, which is good. The only thing I, I wish was a thing in this game is the customization was a little bit more free for the player. So, for example, the fruit trees are all, all like already here. The bushes are there. You know, the, the pig pen, the veg crops. You know, it's kind of like it's already there. It would be amazing if you could like dig your own farm plots, uh, build your own coops and pens, you know, plant fruit trees, etc. To give the player a bit more freedom into living life on the farm. I don't know if that's a thing that comes later on in the game or or not, but it does lack a little bit of freedom and customization in that department. Right, let's go. Let's go, go, go. I think those daily tasks are done for today. Right, so we need to find Edna as well. Yeah, Edna teapot and hazelnut. In fact, we need to go back up here. I've just seen there's a proverb that we need to use the rod for that I've not done yet. And it's just down there. Nice catch. Hey, <laughs> Gassy apple use. Uh, they fill the belly and then wi with wind. Most powerful and smelly. So, yeah. If we give that to a pig, you can see it like inflate and his belly will get big. Well, actually, I've got no rain today. So, it's a good day to go out and do something. This game is so gorgeous. Truly love this game. I know I say it every single time, guys, but I really do. I hope you're having fun with this game, too. Oh, we got a pike. Is that our first one? It's just a fish, stupid boy. <laughs> That's a nice catch. So the notice board is around there. I'm just going to go and get these. Because I've noticed these trees do not belong to anybody. So these classes foraging. A lot of the trees and bushes are owned by a lot of the people, so... But these ones are ours. Like this blueberry bush here, it's probably not gonna be... Yeah, there we go, we don't have permission for that one. That's fine, that's fine. Do some fishing. Another pike. Look how beautiful this game is. Another one? Just fishing anywhere. Like, you come down to a river, just cast a line. Oh, I love fishing in this game. I think this is my favorite game to fish in. I even enjoy it more than Stardew Valley. It's so much more peaceful. It's a bit easier. And it's kind of like, you do get the freedom to fish in this game. You can just pull up and cast anywhere. It's very fast, very quick. The animations are amazing. I love the water in this game as well. It looks so cool. They did super well with it. Right, we've got something down there. Primrose. So let's go up and... What did we need to do? I forgot what we needed to do. There we go. Is this the quest? No, we've not introduced you yet. Ginger Nut. <laughs> uh, it's nice to have another young'un around. Perhaps you can visit when you walk these parts. Don't get many visitors. What with our Hazel moving off after she got married? With Earth... Earth Aller ran off. And now she'd rather spend her time with a cast than coming to see her old mum. Nice of you to try and get to know me, dear. Did you know they named me after a biscuit? <laughs> Hob Crunch. I changed my name when I married a fella called Wally Nut. <laughs> he died, you know. Yes, he had an accident while fishing and got pulled into the lake. He got out soaking wet and died when he tried wrestling in Nymph five days later. Our Hazel loved him as a dad. She blamed me for his death, then ran off with a wanderer called Huge <laughs> Oh my god, that is incredible. The puns in this game are never ending. <laughs> Huge charcoal. <laughs> oh, that's made my day. Oh, Ginger Nut, you are the best. So funny. Oh god. Right, we've got Tom Cow. Oh, you can click on and learn about the person. That's pretty cool. So you can literally click on his name there. Uh, stay away. Well, what's the matter with you? Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my effigy. Why is everyone losing them? Guys, we can get the slingshot for free. I think we should do that. 
The Rose of Romance as well. The Glass Jar, Sleeper Zest. The Recipes, the Farmer's Stew might be quite good. Let's go and get that. We can now learn how to cook it. Flour, Tin Bucket, we don't need a ball for the dog, which we haven't got yet. I think we should get the slingshot for free. There's a droid effigy as well. Do we need to be buying those? I don't actually have a clue. All right, let's get a slingshot. The weapon of choice for menaces everywhere. Dennis the Menace reference. Oh, yes. That was a great cartoon. Right, and we can actually talk to the shopkeeper here. Yeah? Ichabod Moon. Could you keep an eye out? Why has everyone lost their effigies? Like, what? what's all this about? we got to go and find them all. This must be part of a quest. There's the notice board that we've done. Okay, hampered. I need a bundle of items. We'll pay well. 70 28 gassy apples. That is ridiculous. <gasps> Hazelnut. Cook some food using turnips for hazelnut and deliver it between two. We can't wait. I ain't got no turnips. And, of course, we need to find another effigy. She's going to pay 13 isn't it a uh, pig auction day today? Yeah, we need to go and do that, right? Dad doesn't like me talking with people, but just wanted to say welcome to the Vale. Is it true that you're also a twin? If they're as dunce-brained as mine, you have my uh, <laughs> commiserations. So yeah, Ned and is it Ted? They are twins in this as well. So we are not the only twins, which is <laughs> pretty cool. We've got a quest with everyone. Boot Winters. I bet you've lost your thing as well, right? Oh, do you think you could make me something? Uh, we've not really been cooking, though. We've got so many quests. I don't think we're going to be able to do all these guys. Right, so what I'm going to do is go over to here, and we're going to go to the quests. Look at all the ones here. Oh, my God. So we need to go and do two quests with Hazelnut. Give her a weed skimmer and help her cat. So it can be used on day 7 and 10. Make offerings to the goddess of food and curses. You may also choose to fast travel for the cost of one apple. You may also check which boons and curses are active. I don't know what we're going to offer, guys. I really don't have a clue. But we can travel with one. Like I said, we need to be using that a lot more. Right, where's the pig auction? Is it somewhere down here? There it is. Oh, look at them all go. They're all buying pigs. Should we buy one? Oh, is, a little, is that a piglet? Oh, I've betted on a pig. Oh, no. Oh, we can't go anymore. Seven? No, we can't. Oh my god, I think I've just bought a pig. <laughs> oh no. Did I? I actually don't have a clue if we just did that or not. Or did someone else buy it? I don't even know. Sirloin. What a nice name. <laughs> Great name for a pig. Right, let's go and speak to Hazelnut. Where, where are you going? He's going down this way. See, I would have never come this way. This is a very useful thing to use. And I kept forgetting about it for a long time. So I definitely need to be using this a lot more. That away. Such a handy and a cool feature in the game. So it's 6 p.m. Getting on towards 7. She wants to cook something. And we've not really mastered cooking, to be honest. I've got no recipes. So I don't even know if we'll be able to do them. But I might accept them anyway. I don't know if there's a time limit on them or anything. Or we can just do them. Whenever we can. There's a proverb hiding in the field here. In the grass. Parsley. That's a map stone. I could probably summon truffles. It's a little bit faster. Oh, there's that one. Three more to find in this area. Wowzers. There's another map stone. Nice. Cuckoo do. Oh, look. Is that a... Is that a cat? Is this the one that's missing? The cat's following me. I don't know if that's the right one for the quest. I know a cat went missing, and we seem to have found one. This cat is trying to keep up. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, there's one in the tree there. Look at that. We found the cat in the tree. That was actually the real cat. Oh, my God. That was a quest done, which we need to do. We now got to go and speak to her. Right, we need that dandelion because I need to know what time it is. We might pass out. We've got to hurry up. There's a proverb there as well. Oh, there's so much to do up here. Nice. Eldersbury location. Beyond the henge where dry uh, dryads roam, Eldersberries make their home. Right, come on. Which way have we got to go? Down here. Let's hurry up. It's going to be down here, right? Yep, she's 
there's the cat that we found. There she is. Oh, thank you. You must be a true cat lover. Would you like to buy one of my cats? No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Right, the task. Grab your rod. There it is. Boom. We just did two quests with Hazelnut. And we've also got five brass for that as well. Goodbye. Your owl stinks. Right, we've actually got... Is that a prover? Oh, we've got a recipe. Night milk. That's... That's good. That is good. We probably will pass out again. Let's have a little nosy around here to see what we can see. The rain's come back again. You can tell this is a British game. Lots of rain, and I love it. Oh, there's another... We need that key from Truffles. I think that's the same one. Ooh. Rainbow mushroom. Oh, we got... We need the map stones around here. There's so many. This is a huge place. I can teleport back again. But like I said, there's no... It doesn't bother me about passing out because there's no consequence. So maybe if that becomes a thing in the game where you kind of like need to get back before you pass out. And then maybe you would use those a little bit more. Oh, a little, little, who wonder who lives there? Oh, deers! There's actually deers in the game. That was gorgeous. That's the first time I've seen one of those. Holy crap. The wildlife really makes this game. There we go. I tried to do as much as I could there. Like if you, there's no energy or stamina in the game. But you don't even lose like, you know, brass or anything like that. So it's actually no problem at all. <laughs> the cat is still following us. Oh my God, I've got a new friend guys. I've got a new friend. We've got that brass for today as well. Right, truffles. Just, just go away for a second. I need to know if we can cook. Farmer stew, simpleton stew, we've got blueberry and strawberry jam, and night milk. That's all we've got. And we haven't even got the ingredients for all of those. <clears throat> so we need to cook, gather some ingredients, and craft any recipe. Oh, just any? Homemade food required. Cook some food. So we can cook anything, guys. Boots Windows after a cooked meal using grown ingredients. Deliver it between five and eight. Huh. We need cabbage and basil. Honey. If we do honey, we can do blueberry jam. I wonder if that counts. Morning. I'm off to Festival Green to pay homage to Droida. Every week we make her an offering on Goddess Day, so then she will smile on us. Of course, today is Droida Day. The big one. It's the big one. Time and basil. There it is. The little herb beds. I love that. Nicely done on that sickle, by the way. Kept meaning to say. That's very impressive work. Smithing is hard work, but can be build uh, can build up your muscles for sure. I prefer the smells of the farm. Pig muck over pig iron for sure. Travelling trader tomorrow. He always goes to the same place, to, uh, same two places in the Avon. So be there or be a triangle. <laughs> be there or be square. Of course, he had to be different. Cat's going back home. <laughs> we stole a cat from the cat lady. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right, honey. Can we actually cook? The new cooking. And by the way, very satisfying, I will say. You do have timer to do it. Oh, I'm so bad at this. There we go. Honey comb all cut up. That's right, bubbling away. Sweet scent, charm. Oh no, we're just minus one on the performance. Oh dear, that was not very good, but we did get achievement. And we cooked up a recipe too. That was our first one. Working on the farm isn't so bad, but there's still no way I'm going into the pig pen. You lost that coin toss the first day we got here, and we're not switching. So she never does things on the in the pig pen. We always have to sort the pigs out, bloody hell. I've made that offering. Let's go and do the uh, the droid today. We fed the pig too. We need the dandelion for the clock. And let's go. I'm going to pin that. And let's go, guys. Attend the festivities, okay? We're here, guys. So, of course, we can get off the pig a second. We can buy seeds. More wheat. Take some more cabbage down here. We need this for the stew. We could also sell some things ourselves, I believe. But we'll take these carrots as well, buy one lot of those. 
Let's maybe sell a few things. I'm going to open for two hours. Right, what have we got to sell? Let's sell some strawberries. <clears throat> sell three of those straight away. So we made a lot of profit on that. That was amazing. Of course, we've got to do the offering. Uncle Bill, glad you could join me. There are a few things I can teach you that are more important than the rituals of the goddesses. How we worship determines how we live and what fate has in store for us. Everywhere you go, you'll find goddess statues where you can make an offering on a goddess day like this. But what pleases one goddess may offend another. So take care to see what effect your offering will have. Whatever boons and blessings you earn will last all week, but so will the misfortunes. So be sure to choose wisely and consult the statues to see where you stand with each goddess. Don't neglect them though. If you fail to make any offering or insult them with poor gifts, you might find yourself jinxed or even cursed. Wurzel Scrumpy keeps trying to catch flies now. With his tongue. <laughs> oh my god, so what are we going to do here? <sighs> okay. See? Crops do not grow. Each collective fruit or berry has two additional quality stars. A high chance for any collective fruit or berry to yield two. Crops limited to one star quality. Crops take additional day to grow. Each crop limited to yield in a single item. So we've got droid and frail. This is this is tough. Got different ones as well. Hylis, Nader. Ooh, low chance to find seeds from grass with when you cut it with a sickle. Chickens do not lay. I don't mind that because we've not really got any chickens. So that's not bad. So if we have the nader boon, the hyalus curse, the chicken, that's that's not bad. More likely to have babies. Oh my god. That's not bad because babies are unlikely. But these only last for one week. And we're not trying for a baby. We're a kid. So that would be good for fishing. There's even more. More Wenna and Aurora. Aurora? Pets automatically fed. So this is not bad either. The cheery sun. Gain more friendship points when interacting with villagers during sunny weather. Each collected herb gives you two. But then you lose quality on your looted items. Out of season crops. On the farm only. That's really good. So droider seems to be berries. Frail seems to be crops. So if we scythe the grass with a sickle, we can find seeds. That's going to save us some money. I might actually go with that. But of course, we'd get the chickens do not lay. But I don't really care for that. Right, okay, we've done this. Now what? So the curse is that chickens do not lay eggs. That's okay for one week. We don't have any chickens on the farm. The ones that we see around won't drop us any eggs. But I don't need the eggs right now. But we do have a, a low chance to find seeds from cutting the grass with a sickle. I don't know. I have no idea how it works. I'm trying to get used to it, but we've done something at least. I'll see how that goes on. So if we use the scythe, does this take into place like right now? And there is a lot of this grass around that you can see. We can try. <gasps> we do. We already get some seeds, guys. A cave wart. Barley. Oh my god. That is brilliant. I'll take that any day. We just need to find places where there's lots of grass. Like, does all this count? I think it's so. I think so. Ooh, we found one of the effigies as well. Didn't even mean to be looking for that, but we found it anyway. We need all the map stones on this place as well. Corn truffles. Let's go find them. Ooh, it's got to be on this side. <gasps> Another effigy. Yes, a frail. Mapped region done. Yes, we finished it on this side. All this grass here, can we try and get some seeds? Or does it have to be like the... Oh, no, the purple grass also works. Got some wheat, nice. Guys, this is amazing. Turnips. We got some turnips. Radish. Pumpkin. <laughs> I love that there's quite a lot of seeds. I hope there's more. Oh no, it's in the water. Oh no, did we just lose that? That was pretty cool though, sunflowers. Oh, it went down the stream. 
That was a pretty cool animation, though. You, you saw it move through the water. Wow. I can't believe it, guys. We can actually look at this. We're actually getting quite a bit as well. Wheat and radish. I love this a lot. And we have this for a full week. Oh, turnips. We needed those for one of the cooking recipes. Oh, leek. Come on. And look, there's loads around as well. And you can use the pig whilst you're doing it. It's a bit more fiddly, though. Definitely a bit fiddly. That is fantastic. Love it. I know there's a lot of grass just underneath our farm here. On this side, I'm sure there is. Yeah, there's a lot here. Proverb as well. Gassy apple. Wheat and radish. Now, the question is, how long does it take for the grass to grow? Is it one day? Will it be back there in the morning? Or, oh, primrose proverb. Or does it take a couple of days? Or does it never come back? You know, it's, you've got to find out here. And I bet if you get a better scythe as well, and you get like a gold one or a very good one with good sharpness and durability, and we do a better job at crafting it or smithing it, and then maybe you get more. Or like the radius is bigger or something. Oh, we got one, two, three. Pumpkin, radish and barley, and another wheat. Right, time's ticking. There's the other map stone. I think this area's done now. Yep, we've finally done this one as well. Droiders cross. This is where the grass, I normally see a lot here on the way up. Yeah, it's all around here. Edgehog. And I'm guessing these are all spring crops, right? We can actually grow these this season. Lettuce, a new one. Pip of the iceberg. <gasps> Iris. That's a, a flower. I love how much there is in the game. So, guys, let me take a look at the seeds here. Look at all of this. I'm pretty sure this is all spring. So, imagine when we get into summer and fall. I haven't seen potatoes. Where are they? They've got to be in the game. Come on. British. I've had a real good time today. That is amazing. We're all going to sleep and I'm going to end that one there. Truffles, go back. What quest do we do all the uh, the dailies? Yeah, we've got a lot of cooking to do. Tomorrow is the travel trader. That's pretty cool. And we actually gone to sleep on time for once. <laughs> we actually made it to bed, guys. Should we wake up at dawn? I'm interested to see how dawn looks in the game. I'm going to try that. Oh, children must sleep from 11 till 6, so you've got to wake up at 6. Oh. So when you're older, you can wake up whenever you want. Interesting. But there we have it, guys. More brass that, waiting for us. that was waiting for us. We've got some more daily tasks, but I'm going to end that one there. Another episode of Kinseed. I'm going to be doing way more of this. I love this game so much. Let me know what you think to this game. Are you having a blast with it as well? I can't wait to get deeper into it and see what more is to come. Smash that like button if you've enjoyed this one. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. Merry Christmas, everybody. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.